Who's that crazy creep destroying the world? Well, it's Imperator Julius Augustus. Biggest dickers. Oh my god, he's called the Glorious now. Imperator Julius the Glorious Nepos. Biggest dickers. The highest rank in Worm. Naturally, welcome back to the Conquest. Now, our ultimate goal, as I've said before, but this is for people who are for some reason watching at episode 26, is to put a horse on the throne of China. Now, I've done some reading, and I've kind of scared myself a little bit, because I've never done it before, as I said. And I'm reading the wiki... And the wiki has made it out to be some Herculean task, which is almost impossible. Um, now, they did make a very good point in that there's no achievement for taking China's throne because it's that difficult to do, supposedly. I guess we'll find out for ourselves, but apparently China sent 150,000 men at you. And unless you control a lot of land in the surrounding area for supply and for levy and for troops, then it's a very, very difficult task. So... Oh, hiccups. My god, we've just started. Please don't start this early. So, <laughs> so basically, I'm thinking we get a foothold in India. We don't really want to fight the Western Protectorate. Oh my god, that man's eyes from this perspective look horrifying. So, from India, we want to take as much land as we can that isn't under the Western Protectorate. Because those are essentially the people we're going to be fighting. Now, they don't have any troops of their own because they have no land of their own. They just have made everyone else a tributary. They get event spawn troops. And apparently it's up to, like I said, 150,000 event spawn troops. And the only way to get war score is to siege Western Protectorate land, supposedly. Um, so... <laughs> so I think we basically do as I said there. We get as many claims and we conquer as much of, of, of India as possible. Really work our way through it. And try and expand our power base out. Now, I've already declared a war here in... Uh, in Persia, and I'm basically going to be picking... I thought we had troops up here. Oh my god, do we not actually have troops? I hope I didn't disband them. Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, I'm going to take as much of, of these single county provinces in Persia as well, just to instill as much of a power base as possible, because those guys can obviously help us out with the wars in the nearby provinces. They might also be tempted to expand out themselves naturally and claim as much Persian land as possible. That gives us a nice sort of stop-off point into India. Not only that, but I figured we might as well take the Arabian Peninsula. We've already got a foot in the door down in Yemen. And we've already got a little bit of the uh, the northern area. I believe this is... Wait, hang on. Modern day Iraq? I'm not entirely sure. Look, my Middle Eastern borders are not up to standard, I will admit. But we will try and take whatever we can from here. Um, oh, I just realized I've turned the, the music off in CK2. Because we did a live stream and people were requesting music. And my god, that was the worst live stream I think I've ever had. Right. How's that? We good? I can hear it. It's slowly... Okay, I'll, I'll sort that in a second. Like I was saying, we do have a foothold up there already. There are also a lot of single counties near the top there that's worth taking out. And if we can get down into here, we can definitely cause some issues. So, that being said, we also want Germany and we also want to tidy up the UK. So, there's plenty to do this episode. India is the priority, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, then next up it would be Persia, then Arabia, then, you know, the UK will happen naturally by itself. So, we don't really have to focus on that. Let's get to it. So, first things first, we've got Daughters. And sons and childs of Rome who need educating in, in glorious Roman ways. We've got nomad agitation here. I will build you a castle because I'm a generous king. Um, a generous a generous emperor. Oh. Apparently, have we got to wait for it to be built? Yeah, I guess we do. Um, that's my s grandson. My grandson grabbed some land there. Oh, it's because I, I, I landed uh, Despot in Cassius the Fat, who's basically... Um, look at how far he's expanded out there. He's gone all the way up through Georgia. Kind of impressive. <laughs> Help me. While I remember, what we've got to do, I've just smashed and grabbed a few provinces here. We grabbed um, one here, we grabbed one here, and one here. I don't remember. Anyway, more to the point, I've given Persia to my son. We were able to create the title of Persia. We could probably create, oh my god, so many things. I'll deal with that one in a minute. Um, I've given my son Persia. I want to give Biggest Dickus, House Biggest Dickus, many lands across the new Roman Empire. Now, the one thing that we forgot to do last episode, and I'm so sorry, I say this every single time. Let's check the religion map mode, and then I never do it. Here we go. Boom. There it is. What do you think? I think that actually Christianity has held on very, very well, considering that they haven't got religious head, and they haven't really got any followers much anymore. Um, and they've also lost a shit ton of lands, obviously, us conquesting them. Um, let's go to... Let's go to religions. Let's go to authority. Um, so we are obviously the top. We're just not listed. Oh, we're at 69%. Are we really? We only got 69%. Hang on, that's druidic. Right, get out of the way. Um, we are at 100%. There we are. I was just about to say, that's impossible. Okay, so druidic is at 69%. Um, 64 size. Zoroastrian is the largest religion, although, uh, besides us, obviously. 
Although that has a low moral authority, probably something to do with the fact that we keep uh, keep attacking them. Buddhist, Slavic, uh, Pelagian? What is that? So there are still Christians around, but obviously it's it's Nassin, Nassini are the ones that... Hang on, is the High Patriarch still landed? Ah, there's always a High Patriarch landed or not. We might need to keep an eye on that, make sure he's got no lands um, that he holds personally. But yeah, I mean... Besides our religion, there are really no big contenders. Druidic is obviously because of the fact that they have reformed. However, we've already started to convert Druidic lands there. Now, what is our priest doing right now? Our auger is over trying to convert promises. It's already converted. Right. In that case, let's start running away at the Druids. So let's move you into um, Druidic Center Capital 101 Ireland. Let's start work on that and really get rid of them. So in terms of Persia... How far do we want to expand? How far else? Out, uh, how far else can we expand? No, that doesn't make sense. How? Where else? Okay, I've thought of what I want to say. Where else can we conquer? <laughs> Much easier way to say it. So we've got three provinces here that I apparently haven't touched. How many men has he got? Uh, he's got a total of 600 men. So it shouldn't take too long to hopefully knock him on the head a little bit. Who died? Somebody died. I don't, I don't really know who died. Right, declare war. I want to take whatever is closest to the kingdom. So we'll take that one to start off with. And this should be over in no time at all. Um, just go ahead and see the down very quickly. Dragon Amulet. We're destroying his Dragon Amulet purely out of spite, I can assume. 28 Marshall. Wow, damn. I suppose we do have a massive empire, so it's kind of likely that we'd see some of that high. Um, they have created a pretty decent province here that we've got to try and siege down. Oh, God, attrition. Really? A man with your talent? Uh, let's go ahead and set up in that case. What was I about to do? Um... Oh, right, a levy reinforcement rate, or retinue reinforcement rate. Let's go back up to uh, maximum speed, seeing as apparently we have 11,000 gold. How the hell did we get 11,000 gold? I mean, I did just do quite a few wars there in Persia that lasted a while, but it was just for such insignificant province, I probably won't leave it in the video. Um, why have we got 11,000 gold? I mean, my retinues will certainly benefit from it, so I can't complain that much, but holy shit, that's insane. Um, I really should be reinvested in this, eh? Back into Rome, build some more aqueducts. What else do Romans build? Circuses. Thank you very much. Right, uh, I'm trying to give this to the same vassal. Now, you might be noticing that my vassal limit is more or less where it should be now. Um, we've managed to reclaim some land there. What, what else have we picked up? Excuse me? Oh, we've got a temple in this one. Right. I have started to decentralize the realm a little bit just because that will give us vassal limit. So if we go down from low centralization to decentralized... That would give us uh, plus 10 vassal, oh, that would plus 5 vassal limit, because obviously we'll lose that one. Uh, <coughs> but we lose one domain. I mean, to be honest with you, the amount of bonuses we're going to get from being on our vassal limit is so huge compared to the bonuses we get from holding a single province. That would have to be a pretty damn good province to make up for the ridiculous amount of taxes that we're going to gain from this. So when our, are they immortal? Are those the Persian immortals? Sorry? Tributary to the Immortals. Are they even landed? Oh, they've got castles in our provinces. I think I just went to war with this dude. Yeah, let's try and kill him off. 33%. If we can get rid of the Immortals, that will erode their moral authority as well, to my knowledge. Um, 33%. Yeah, let's try and destroy their Holy Order then. Uh, nobody wants to join, unsurprisingly. It's almost like the guy who destroyed their religion isn't somebody you want to back in a plot. My grandson wants it, my kinsman to marry my daughter. That's fine by me. Trying to keep the biggest dick of slime purest. That seems entirely fine. Um, the Hukumat of Itil, sure. Why have we got land all the way up here? And who is this? Oh, another grandson. Right, it's him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you deserve that one because you've obviously been conquering. Man, the Empire's getting a little bit out of control, isn't it? What? Uh, we're on every continent now, aren't we? We're in Asia, we're in Africa, we're in Europe. Um... That's kind of insane. We've done a very good job. I suppose we were in Asia the second we crossed Turkey. But you know what I mean? We're in, like, India, I should say. The Indian subcontinent. That's kind of insane. Um, we do want to tidy things up a little bit more in Europe as well. Because this is a bit of a state up here. This is still a state in Northern Africa. But I can't do much about that. Taking Arabia will make our main name bigger. So that's definitely on my list of things to do. Persia looks nice already. And all we have to do is really move up to that sea. We'll move south next. See what we can take from... Uh... Right, so we're at truce with you. What about you, man with helmet? With, with hat? Gold helmet. No, we are still at truce with you. All right. Um, what about this man? What about blue man group? Nope. Okay. Well, we've done pretty much all the wars we can do in Persia for now. We could go for Arabia, but there's no point. You know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna really do anything for us right now. So we'll head back into India then for the time being. So that is what we need to attack China. Um, with the Northern Wei Empire stable and prospering, 
With the arrogant emperor convinced of their invincibility, you will prove them wrong. Right. Vader Child is no easy task. You will face the full might of China while suffering a 75% penalty to your levy reinforcement rate. When it means placing your dynasty on the Dragon Throne, you will also receive vast spoils of war. If you lose, your realm will be shattered. Yeah, that's something I didn't mention. Uh, if China win this war, all Empire and Kingdom level titles within our Empire are destroyed. So that is, just unless you're counting, all of them. Um, <laughs> that's going to be basically everything we've tried to build up here. And we're going to be reduced back into duchy level titles. So, so the map, if that does happen, will look like that. Um, not ideal, to be fair. But I, I think it's unlikely that we will lose, given that we have 12,000 gold to play around with, along with, um, you know, the full might of the expanded Roman Empire here, along with this dude, obviously, leading the troops. Uh, not leading the troops it personally, but, um, you know, inspiring the troops. They fight, they're dying for him, and who wouldn't want to die for Julius Augustus, biggest dick of Snapos here. Right, back up to the north. Oh, the bubonic plague. The pestilence is sweeping through the known world, and it's reached blah, blah, blah. Why is it still here? It's very slowly spread across Greece, like really, really slowly. And it's in Iberia as well now. Right, okay. I mean, it doesn't affect us too much. I mean, it, if we catch it, who cares, realistically? You know, we're not going to die of the plague. We've caught it multiple times before, and it doesn't matter too much. Right, let's actually spend some money on Rome. Um, local revolt risk minus 10%. I feel like it's irrelevant, but I'm going to build it because it's the most expensive building there. Siege defense, that always seems nice. Not that I don't think China is ever going to manage to get boats into the Mediterranean, but there we go. They're probably the only people now that can actually deal us a crippling blow. Uh, by crippling blow, I mean they will completely annihilate everything. Oh, for God's sake. More truces. Okay. Um, Maharaja Kirti of Hunas. Can I just, can I just kill you? Can I just kill you dead? Does anyone want to join? Hey, I'm Roman Emperor. Join me. I'll give you money. I've got a lot of it. No? After 100 years, under the Imperium Romano, the Diocese of Galicia is no longer considered part of Hispania. What is the Roman Empire's du jour land now, then? Um, okay, fair enough. That's not great, but it's not much. We've made a lot of progress, clearly, in 100 years. If that's the last thing that's been incorporated. That's pretty insane. Damn it. Well, we've got a spy master over there now, and people have joined the plot with some, uh, some little bit of bribing here and there. Um, the Lachman Ch Who? Oh. Oh, the, the dude that we vassalize- or the, the dude that we turned into a tributary, I remember, so that the, the Persians didn't get him. Right. Okay, I was very confused. I, I answered a call to war, and I wasn't really sure what it was about, but I guess, I guess they're fine. Okay. I received word from my co-conspirator, Rajkumari Anoki, that the Burma are in place. Can we invite anyone else? Oh, we're already at 200%. Jesus Christ, okay. Kill him dead. Kill this man. We've got him. Okay. Um, can we kill anyone else while we're here? What about, um... What about you? No. <laughs> well, that was worth a go. Um, right, okay then. That's going to give us one province. Um, it's not great, but it's better than nothing. Now, I think we still want to work across the top of India here. Oh, hang on. That's going to hit the Western Protectorate. Um, well, why not just carry on as we uh, as we mean to? We probably want to start fabricating claims on uh, Rai here. Just so we can move south and under the Western Protectorate and start grabbing India. Basically, all of South India. Um, as, like the wiki suggested, a staging grounds for our war. Which I feel like might be kind of important. Especially with the whole supply thing. If we're going to have to ship over 150,000 men to fight this war, supply is going to be the big killer. Because there's going to be a lot of troops in provinces, whether enemy troops, allied troops, neutral troops. That's going to need a lot of land to, to be able to sustain them all. Um, yeah, become gregarious, shit girl. Otherwise, I'll execute you. Okay, uh, where's the, where's the capital? It's this one here where my spy master has still stood menacingly. Right, let's siege these down very quickly. Nice, and head over. Oh, we could try and take that one, Lahore. That's, such a, that's a pretty decent province. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Uh, certainly won't increase my opinion of them. I don't know what they did, but that man might have been a horse boy from the looks of it. I probably should have double-checked that. Um, now, this is the dude we're at war with, so let's kill his troops, and that should be it. 100%. There we go. Thank you very much. Right. You can have this because I'm way too close to my vassal limit. Uh, Kashmira. It's a real shame that we can't go through Tibet instead because that would have made our life so much easier. Um... That one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hang on. Two of those are to rim, though. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's also to rim. So, five rulers, six rulers stand between us and China going via the north method. Um, 
Comparatively this way, we'd have to fight the Western Protectorate. Which might be a good trial run to see how good our armies are, though. Um, I don't really know the best way to approach this. Uh, obviously, if anyone's got any tips in the comments, it won't be this episode that we go to war with them anyway. Please, for the love of God, if you've ever if you've ever fought China or anything like that, let me know. Um, and I will certainly take your advice, because this is uh, kind of scary. If, we, if everything gets fractured, what a horrible way that would be to end the series. And everything was ruined. Um, pharmacology laboratory, fine, why not? Where is the plague, though? Is it gone now? No, it's still kicking around. Uh, oh no, peasants in Swati. Where the fuck is Swati? Um, this place. Uh, oh no, I happen to have a shit ton of troops there for some reason. Okay, you guys head to Arabia and start doing some Arabian conquests for me. I should try and find out where all my troops are. So we've got uh, the army of Admiral Octavina Octav Octa Octavianus. Why is an admiral leading my troops over there? I'm not entirely sure. We've got this Roman army here as well. What are these guys doing here? I don't know, but you guys can also... Uh, you guys come down here and start work on the south of Arabia. Um, we've also got this army up in Scotland, but I think we're still at truce with Scotland, except we're not at all, oh, you fools. Right, um, we need Chancellor Julian, despot of Mali. Um, why do you guys not like me, though? What have I done wrong? Uh, domain too big. Oh, right, yeah, sorry. I've got one province too many in all my conquesting, which I built for this dude. What a shame. All right, how about now? Um, am I back on the council's good side? This guy just doesn't like me anyway because he's a dick, so we'll send him some gold. This guy doesn't like me either. What's wrong with you? He loves me. Why are you... Malcontent? 100 opinion? You weird men. Um, oh, it's because he's a green supporter. I see. He's a green supporter. A filthy greener, as we like to call him in, uh, in Rome. Citation needed. Okay, Scotland. Um, oh, it's four versus four. Why did the council like me? I'm a great emperor. Maybe it's because we've been around. Maybe that's the problem. We've been around forever. And uh, they kind of prefer someone else to rule at this stage. That's understandable. Right. Uh, we apparently won a war somewhere. Out of the 100 years of the Imperium Rom Romanum, the Diocese of Ospia is no longer considered de jure part of blah, blah, blah. Good. That's what we like to see. More land for de jure Rome so that when the Empire does fall apart, we can reconquest it very quickly because it'll all be de jure. Um, or at least that's the lie I'm going to tell myself. If the Empire falls apart, Julius Nepos goes with it gonna have to commit harakiri in in uh was it only women that committed harakiri he's gonna have to c commit seppuku in in shame as i return from my trips to the countryside and while searching for a servant to fetch me some water my wife angrily enters the entrance hall to when i take my boots off um <laughs> and says why are you the one giving orders minus 10 inconsiderate ass okay i'll just tell i'll just tell a servant to that worry not my lady tips for dora I shall clean it myself, so I remember next time. Because he's a nice guy like that. Lose five prestige. But she's... She's impressed. You know what, wife? You're worth the five prestige. Who else would put up with a 200-year-old possessed lunatic old man? Who's basically a nugget at this stage. There's nothing left of him. He's one-armed, one one-armed, one-legged, a drunkard. He, can, he probably can't move, let's be reasonable. I don't know how the hell he's wearing boots. Boot at most. Um, but I God knows where he'd be going either, considering that, you know aforementioned problems. Are you really going to make me see the whole of Scotland? Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't be a fool. Alright. One more province down. Only another one, two, three, four, five, six to go. Let's kill him off. Um, that hairline, I think you'll forgive me for murdering you. If, if anything, it's the kindest thing we can do for you at this stage. Uh, send a gift. Right. Um, is that really all we can bribe? <laughs> the whole of Scotland. We got one dude. Excellent. This province is littered with pagan artifacts and shrines. You have your men destroy them. Excellent. Um, <laughs> sp speaking as the pagan, I don't think that's, a, that's the best idea. We're the, we're the pagan. I'm not personally pagan, but reformed pagan. Um, does seem a little bit hypocritical. Right, let's go and build a spy network in Ross. Say that, Ross. All up in Ross. And we will uh, try and expedite sort of the Scottish campaign a little bit. So I've asked to take an age to do anything. Who's this dude? It's very Roman with his flag. Yeah. Okay, why not? South France has decided to take Scotland. Good for you, South France. It's nice to have aspirations in life. How are we doing over in Arabia? Are our troops there? They? Where the fuck are they all? Oh, I sent them south, didn't I? Right. Okay, they're heading into Yemen now. We might as well just go ahead and swoop up whatever we can here. So we'll take you. Um, what am I looking at? What? What am I looking at? What is this? Is this? Oh, this is what you guys are talking about in the comments. This is Athuri. I've heard of such things. Oh, whoa. What's this? Uh... Notices your bulgy bulgy. Uh, I don't really like this dude, so I'm just going to declare on him just based on the fact that he's half bear. Um, we're going to take that out. What else have we got? We got this guy here. 
Uh, we'll take this one if you don't mind. Why am I declaring six walls simultaneously? Because I'm very, very lazy. Um, plus I also want to give all these starters out in one swoop so I don't have to keep stopping and starting. Oh, is that really all we can do from here? What are you? Okay, that's it then. Right, send in the right news. Oh, we've only got 37 men, by which I mean, haha, <laughs> there they are, 23,000. They never saw them coming. What's that over there? It looks like 23 men. Hang on a minute, it's 23,000. Right, kill them dead. Uh, sickness and weights, uh, the weights is all. <clears throat> is what I told my court physician. They looked at me. Horrified. So we've had a lot of war since uh, since that last little bit there. So we've grabbed the rest of Yemen. By a lot of war, I mean we've got three provinces more in Yemen. And our vassals have tidied up the rest of Scotland and uh, Ireland for us there, which is quite nice. I don't know where else they're expanding. I'm not really keeping too much of an eye on it. But it looks like we start to move up into Russia as well. Oh, Rus has formed. Right. Uh, Slavic, Slavic. Makes sense. Understandable. Have a great day. Um, besides that, no progress at all. <laughs> at least as far as I can tell. I don't think we've actually done anything. Now, I did just declare war on this, this young boy. This very small child. So I can start heading north through the Tibetan Basin into, uh, into China, this method. Just because I feel like it's going to be a lot easier than trying to either skirt around the Western Empire or building up this huge kingdom in, uh, in India to try and counteract it. So, it's, it's just going to be quicker as well, you know? So, that's my plan. That's what we're going to do. I'll try both anyway, but, but waiting for, you know, seeing as we're cutting my way through major, major empires here, waiting for them to die, trying to kill them off, however we want to do it, is going to take much, much longer than just going through six provinces up here. So, that's what we're going to do instead, just for speed purposes. Now, I'm not saying we're definitely going to declare war when we're taking all of these. We still need to build up our power base a little bit and make sure our retinue is at maximum size, make sure they're all there and ready to strike. Then... Maybe I'll consider taking some more of India, I don't know. But uh, we'll wait and see first. Hello, um, Gordinian of Frisia Occidentalis. I would enlighten you to join my team. Deus Vault. Um, not a fan of this at all. Grant <laughs> him independence and then go to war with him and take it off him. That'd be really funny. Now, you know what? He is my, he's still my son and he's still Hellenic. Despite the fact that he is incredibly misguided, I, I can't, you know, justify killing him over that. Right, so after this, we want to take this one and then this one, which gives us a way into the basin. Then we'll hit this one, then we have to kill them off and hit that one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Then we need to kill this person off, and then this one. So we've only got to kill two people between us and China. There are two people stood between us and potentially, uh, potentially dealing with China there. We've got Phantom Pain, right. Interesting event. Now, I don't think we can get a prosthetic from this, but I have a feeling we can become permanently incapable if we're not careful with it. Speaking of which, here it is. Romulus has gotten back to me with two possible courses of the treatment. The first one is a simple concoction with a few dangerous but a limited effect. Romulus recommends surgery. Says it has a high chance of success, but I would risk permanent damage to my already impaired nervous system. Um, 80% chance of him giving us his treatment, but 20% chance of him failing and us being trapped in our body forever. As the true 40k emperor. Let's do the surgery. I may have just ruined this campaign. Romulus? Romulus, please. You're a good man, Romulus. Hey, there we go. I, have been, I might have been right to be worried, but everything has turned out for the best. Romulus' treatment has been working wonders, and I've been free of my crippling pain. It's time to get back to my duties. Right, that was very lucky. Otherwise, we would have ended up infirm, and this campaign would have been uh, dead in the water at that point, because we have been up to our regency to do basically everything. Anyway, thank you for that. Uh, bulk, grant line title. This is for you, my friend. I'm only using it as a stepping stone into the neck. Oh, shit, really? Wait, I lied. We don't need to take that province at all. We need to take this one. My god, I almost killed that kid then. As if I would do something like that. What? what? Oh, seriously? I took a single province in this dude. I know exactly who this dude is. He's the guy in the Arabian Peninsula, isn't he? Come on, where are you? Where's your kingdom? Show me. There it is. Yeah, this is the guy I released as my tributary and then took a single province off of him and now retreats to them as well. Ah! Alright, that's, fi that's fine. Ah, 36% chance to kill him. No, it's not fine. I've lied. Um, fine. Back to the Yemen conquest. And I'll take out my frustrations on the innocent people of Yemen. How's the UK doing? Are we almost done? Um, we have three more provinces left in Ireland. And that's going to be got in no time. They're actually declaring war for that now. And then we've got two provinces in Scotland. Um, oh, well, three if you include Shetland. Are we, are we, are we at truce? Of course we're at truce. Who am I not at truce with these days? Um, plot to kill. What does that give us? 30 69%. Oh, shit. Hang on. That's actually doable. 
Right, we got another lucky one. Oh, it's because our spy master was already there. Right, what an idiot from where I killed him last time. Fair enough. Uh, can we invite anybody to this plot? I'm an heir. Prince of Alba wants to join, so he may be king. Oh, you fool. That's not going to end well for you, my friend. Absolutely. Welcome aboard. 69%. What we can do is another thing that I generally do to try and increase uh, people joining the plot is obviously improving relations with them. Generally helps out. Um, you might end up getting one or two people in your plot via that method. Keep this information for myself. I feel like we need to bring up a troop into Germania a bit and try and tidy up this absolute state here. So, where are, where are all of our troops? And we've got 19k there. We've got 10k there, sort of primed and ready to go. We've got another 10k there as well. I'm going to take this. You know what? We've got the money. Let's start a new retinue then. Why not? So, merchants boys together. Uh, build a fort so that they don't... Actually, no. Just go back to the capital. Yeah, that's got 49,000 supply. I think that'd be good there. Right. Let's start. Uh, retinue number... What is that? Uh, number four. Let's get ourselves um, fairly mixed retinue. Let's go with some cavalry. Let's go with some skirmishers. Go with some cavalry. This could take a while. We'll get some more skirmishers as well. We'll go for some more cavalry. We'll go for uh, Legio Comitatensis retinues. Uh, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, that's probably enough of those. we we'll go for a little bit more cavalry. Uh, we'll go for a few more skirmishers and a little bit more cavalry. Oh, it's a defense one, but it's, it's basically the same thing, right? Good. Right. And you know what? Those numbers aren't looking too bad. I, c I could have done that a lot worse. That's fine. Just off the top of my head, that looks okay. I would enlighten him to switch teams. We've got a new ambition. Oh, guess what that is? It's being at peace for five years. This is so annoying. Um, oh, hang on. War chest. Yeah, it's very annoying with the peace ones because whenever I declare war, it clears my ambition. Then I have to pick another one and then you have to declare it again. Oh my god, we've got 118,000 prestige. Two landless sons. Minus two. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't really matter that much at this stage. Wow. Um... Yeah, we're still completely out of options. The Hermetic Society we're, we're done with. We didn't completely finish it. We could have uh, made ourselves the Hermetic Invention there. Is it worth going back to and wasting our time with it? No, because it can also destabilize the realm. Because you end up firing councils and things like that. Because you're too focused on your Hermetic works. We've got... You know what? I'd like to give out more Kingdom Level Tarts to my sons. I might do that very quickly. What have we got then? Uh, Greece, Armenia. The Empire of Armenia. That's cool. Um... Kingdom of Bactria. Well, this is already almost entirely owned by my one son anyway. Uh, so, Grand Line, you can be a double king, so I'm feeling generous. There's Bactria for you, my friend. Hispania, Britannia, Albany. Empire of Sahara, Duchy of Do Be Dos Dosbahan, Empire of Mali. Is there any kingdom level titles, though? K kingdom level titles. No, there are actually none. It's all just empires. At the end of the campaign, we'll make all the empire level titles anyway. And then we'll split Rome and see what happens. I feel like that might just also throw a spanner in the works along with the whole China conquest. Prince Gordinian reminds you of all the good work he has done lately. He thinks that fair compensation for his own pocket... That Wait, he thinks with a with fair compensation from his own pocket... Oh, right, I see. The prefecture of Ufa in my bones is a modest request. We gain the trait just and 200 gold and he takes Ufa Aoi in my bones. Um... He is also my son, and he's an incredibly good son as well, but he does have a sympathy for Christians. I'm going to do it just to get just, to be honest with you. Lose arbitrary, gain just. We're not just gaining just, we're also losing that really shit trait as well. Um, it's going to make all of our other vassals like us even more than they already do. We've got some that are still a little bit uncertain, but we will try and sort that in a minute. Yeah. You know what? Fair enough. He's right. Job well done. We are now the just biggest dick as Julius Augustus. Giving us plus two stewardship rather than minus two. So now we're up to 21, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, that's that's so good. I can't, I can't say no to that. Right. Um, wow. Almost. Okay, so we have to get over halfway before all of our vassals stop loving us. Um, when do they actually start turning sour? It's only right at the bottom here. What's wrong with you, you little shit? Uh, greens versus blues. Crazy cannibal. I can't believe we've still got the crazy cannibal debuff and everybody loves us for this. Probably something to do with that prestige and piety and long reign bonus. Hey, what's our long reign bonus at this point? Um... Yeah, have a gift. Yeah, have a gift. Yeah, have a gift. Right, uh, let's find our most beloved vassal. Our most vassal that beloves us the most, I should say. Long reign, plus 98. Wow. Holy shit. To be fair, we're only 252. We've done all of this in like 200 years. We've got all of this. This is pretty good, you know. Um, I still want to get to China before the end of this episode, though. I, I, that's what was sort of my, my goal that I had in my head. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Claim Jordan. Wait, we could check the whole of Jordan in one swoop. That's not much, though, is it? Yeah, maybe not. Okay, um, let's head up into this one. Then what is this province called? Samarkand. I'm pretty sure that's the name of uh, Ruin and Skyrim, isn't it? As well, I'm not even joking. I think that actually might be, <laughs> actually might be one of them. All right, uh, let's take this out very, very quickly. Let's at least get into the Tibetan Basin, if nothing else. 
I said that was sort of my personal goal, and I've kind of failed with it a little bit for all the gerrymandering in, uh, in Yemen and stuff. Gerrymandering? Meandering. Gerrymandering is, uh, like political coercion, isn't it? So that's absolutely not the right word, brain. It's late at night, so I'll forgive you a little bit, brain, but, but not... But please don't do that again. Right, bulk, you're useless. My son! More land for you. You may take all this crappy land, which I'm just using as stop-off points. Apparently, we've also inherited... What did I just give him? <laughs> okay, sorry. I meant to give him Samarkand. I don't know what the fuck I ended up giving him then. Uh, Samarkand. There we are. Uh, and Car Kargla as well? All oh, right. Um, Kargla, Grant Land Entitled, Kar -ka -ka Kargla. These are the ones we built to get rid of Nomad Agitation. we a new advisor, so you'll do, seeing as you seem pretty angry at me. We need to give ourselves... Oh, a new proselytization. Sorry? Is that all that's left? Wait, what? Something's not right there. That boy ain't right. Uh, I don't know why it's like that all of a sudden. Let's not worry about it. Wait, is that genuinely it? I don't know, but let's ignore it and not worry about it. That's tomorrow's problem. Um... Okay, I'm, get, I'm still going to push around and do as much as we can in this episode. I'll just cram as much in as possible here. I want to get into this Tibetan base. We might as well keep declaring wars as and where we can. Who are you? Why are you bothered by me doing that? I don't know who you are, so I'm just going to kill you. Um, perfect. Turned out they were an enemy. Oh, they actually have a decent amount of troops. Fair play to them. Okay, so we can kill another 7,000 men here. Perfect. And we didn't even have all our commanders on it either. There we go. And you can go on that one. Right, so that, that was their army. Fortunately, we weren't just killing some randomer. I'm not accepting gold off of anybody, thank you. Um, sort subjects, not today. They keep offering me money because we're bankrupt, but we're not technically bankrupt. It's because I've got the Bretneys on full reinforcement there. Oh, we've got our first prosperity event. Wow. It took 200 years to get. Holy shit. Minority settlement, absolutely. City tax plus 25% for 5,200 gold. Sold. Now, you got to remember, that's an additional 25% tax in the province that's given us most of our taxes here. So, I feel like in the long term, that'll play, pay itself off in... Actually, probably not very much of a long term, to be honest. I feel like that'll pay itself off relatively soon. Um, 460 gold per month. Oh, hello. And 50% extra galleys. Don't mind if I do. Why don't we just bankrupt the entire empire, right? No reinforcing the le levies. We need the money. Jesus, what have I done? <laughs> wow. Um, whoops. I mean, it it was good, don't get me wrong. Oh, God, now we've got peasant revolts because I'm apparently a little bit out of money. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, just get rid of this dude. Hey, bye, thank you. Uh, can we declare another war immediately? We can. Kasake. Or we can go through Aksu. Would that be quicker? One, two, no. So we still got to kill off that dude no matter what we do. Um, yeah, Tarim has to die either way because Tarim have got... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way we go. Um, although, I suppose that way would be quicker because we don't have to kill off this dude twice as well. We've only got to kill off Tarim twice. Right, let's go through the northern Tibetan Basin. Why can't we... Oh, why can't we declare war, he says, with minus 6,000 6, gold. Huh. Thank you for watching. I guess I've got to leave it there. <laughs> um, let's just make sure everything's set up and ready to go. What I'll do then next episode is we'll load into it like this, and then I won't do anything until the loans are paid off, and I'll just speed that up in post. Hold a Sagodian fair? Well, they need 2,000 gold for it, so they're going to be waiting a long time for their fair. Shout out to my top tier patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik Lucas Holting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Vanders, Jocelyn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thong, Spired C, James Ogilvy, Escape, Jackson Woodman, and Tyler Birch for their support at the insane level Patreon tiers. And a big shout out to, to Nathaniel Limburg, Brandon Antonio, Necrophilum, Felix Steele, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noble Esquet, Lachley, Zarevin, Fikundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus. Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, I am the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Yoran DeVries, UFTs, Duncan 2 and 7, Jordan Campbell, Asaro, Sedini, Joseph Beer, and Chris for their support as well on Patreon. Thank you. Much obliged. Your Augustus is pleased with your gifts of gold, although this is more or less representative of the YouTube income at this point in time. See you next episode.